Welcome to San Francisco. Sitting in the morning sun I'll be sitting when the evening comes Watching the ships roll in And I watch them all the way I don't think we have anything about Otis Redding here. It is true that he was on a houseboat down at the south end, uh, north end of town, I should say, um, when he wrote that song. Sitting in the morning sun, I'll be sitting in the evening calm, watching the ships roll in, and I watch them roll away. Uh, I finished the second verse, wrote the bridge, and helped him on the third verse, and arranged it. And he said, ships, what am I thinking? San Francisco, Frisco Bay, ships going under the Golden Gate Bridge. That was not what he was talking about. He was talking about the ferries that went across from Oakland to Sausalito. And when a ferry comes to park and let people off in the cars, they kind of roll in, and when they do that, they push up this big wave that comes up on the bank. That's what he was talking about. So I'm just gonna sit on the dark of watching the tide here. And um, this is the houseboat community in here. And um, I believe that he was on Liberty Dock, which is this dock right here. And so you would go down Gate 5 Road, and you'll just have to grab somebody. From what I understand, uh, this was the house here. Uh, the home was called the Music Box, and uh, when Otis Redding was here and wrote Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, uh, it was before the piers were here. This dock was not built yet, and uh, this home was here, though, at the time, and it was closer to Main Dock. Otis uh, never heard the electric guitar, and he never heard the ocean waves and the seagulls on the record. He thought it needed backgrounds, and I agreed with him, and, I, and the Staples singers had, just not too long before that, had been signed to Stax, and I've been working with them. And I said, why don't we get the Staples singers to sing on it? He said, that's a great idea. Oh, we got to do this. It was recorded two weeks before Otis's death, and so the reason I finished it up so quickly is because we got a call from Atlantic Records and said we have to have a record out immediately after you know his death, and that was really tough. And I said, well, Jim, we don't have anything finished. You know, everything's sort of raw and in the can. You know, and he said we got to have a record. Got to have a record. So I decided to do Dock of the Bay. Things have changed a little since then. The hippie generation is not really as strong or as much as it used to be. It's, you know, such is life. Have you seen this? This was the harbor in 72. Oh, fantastic. Oh, shoot. This was about the time when Otis Redding was here. So, yeah. it was very, very different. Yeah. It's it's hard to say where you know he could have he could have been sitting on a number of little finger docks coming out here and singing. Uh, you know it's the quality of life and your neighbors and uh, just being comfortable and being able to be who you want to be here. That's uh, that's what living on the docks is all about. Please. 